Action star Bruce Willis is here in the studio with us this morning. He's in a brand new action movie with plenty of laughs about a band of retired CIA agents who get back to work. It's a great cast, including John Malkovich, Morgan Freeman, Helen Mirren, Mary, Lou's, uh, Mary Louise Mary Parker, Parker. Uh, Ernest Borgnine, uh, Richard, Dreyfuss. Uh, Richard Dreyfuss. It goes on and on and on it's and big, on and on. It's great cast. to have you back with us, Bruce. Thanks, I know it's tough flying in uh, like you do. No, great. I'd love to be in New York. Really nice. You could tell that. Let's talk a little bit about why you wanted to do this particular movie. Well, I uh, I like the script. I was um, one of the first people to get uh, to, to get involved in it, and uh, uh, myself and Carl Urban. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the last two months of uh, casting, just before we started shooting. An unusual thing happened. A, a lot of movie stars signed up for the film. A lot of uh, that whole list yeah. and, and, and more. Um, so it was. Uh, it was like Christmas. Every and the question. every four or five days, uh, mm -hmm. some some other big movie star showed up. Here's Richard Dreyfuss. I know he was he's, he's terrific. Adorable. But you know, and Morgan Freeman. But you know what's so great about this, Bruce? I watched it over the weekend, and you have action. You had the love story. <laughs> It's uh, it's a combo platter, really. Ambitious. Mm -hmm. It's an ambitious movie to try to put all those things in one movie because you could make a movie about a comedy or or action or uh, humor. Uh, and we put it all into this film, and and somehow Robert Schwenke, the director, uh, made it work. Made I want to play, play a little bit, and we didn't t tell everybody what Red stands for. Retired, extremely, extremely dangerous. dangerous. You're a, <laughs> I know that, and that, that's what comes to mind <laughs> when I look at you. But Thank you. you are a group of, of, of CIA ag agents, black mm -hmm. ops. You guys have been put out the pasture a little bit. You didn't want to go. You guys were really good at what you did. And you didn't want to be br being brought back in, but your life is in danger. And so you have to elicit the help of some of your friends from some back in the friends. day. Yeah, yes. Let's take a look at his clip okay. right here. Red is the name of it. This place looks fantastic, Victoria. How'd you do it? What? And you make the transition. You seem so calm, at ease. I love it. I love it here. I love the baking. I love the flower arranging. I like the routine. Well, I, I do get a bit restless sometimes. Mm -hmm. I take the odd contract on the side. not how we're used to seeing her. I know. It's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Did you have to uh, show her a thing or two? Because you're, you no. know your way around a gun. No. Well, I do, but uh, someone else showed her. But she, uh, she didn't take uh, much coaching. Mm -hmm. Well, you know why she wanted to do the movie? She I, has I've a big crush. That. She has a huge crush on this man right here. Huge crush. Huge. Huge crush. Um, fortunately, she's married, and fortunately, I'm married. Uh, but she's so, she's so nice, so charming, and it's just something sexy about her mm -hmm. on that 50 caliber Garrett <laughs> machine uh, that uh, I, I like watching. Well, I have to tell you, you had a bit in Expendables with Sylvester Sloan. Small, but, I know, yeah. but it's like that was a whole cast of people. Mm -hmm. And there's something about these types of movies where people are, are supposed to be past their prime. Mm -hmm. They're brought back in, much like this movie here. Mm -hmm. And it just really strikes a chord with people, don't you think? I think it does. It, uh, I think because science has been able to extend their lives way past uh, 65 years of age. And, mm -hmm. uh, and people are still... Uh, still vital and still, yeah. you know, still should be able to do their job yeah. and can do their job. So and want to do their job and want to do a good job. So they're going to have to sort that out. All right. Well, we have the time remaining. We're going to do a little quiz with you, okay? Because you've the had such good. a you know, you've had a full life there, Mr. Willis. Let's and so the subject that. is you. The first question is, who haven't you killed on screen? <laughs> the options: Alec Baldwin, this alien, or Sybil Shepherd. Your co-star in Moonlighting. Which one? I don't think I killed the Civil Shepherd. <laughs> you don't think? You're not sure. I. Is that your final oh, answer? Is that your final answer? <laughs> I didn't kill Civil Shepherd. Civil Shepherd. Is he correct? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I one for one. Ding, 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 ding. That was.
was a little bit close there. In, okay, you went. To, the uh, all right, and then this, is there anyone that you 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 wanted to kill that you haven't killed? Because you've killed a lot of people. Just just asking. Just asking. Not in this decade. <laughs> if I'd asked you, perhaps in the '90s or the '80s, you might have. I I'm, I think I would have had okay. something. Oh, yeah. oh, we'll, we'll yes. take you off the hot seat. This is our, our, we've got a crack staff, and they're always looking for some old video. Do you remember this video oh, no. right here? <laughs> Roll tape. Oh. Let's go mm -hmm. to the videotape. Yeah, Any time now. It had a little Miami Vice to it with the white suit and the 80s look. You miss those days at all, my friend? I miss those clothes. <laughs> I, I, I miss wearing that silk white suit. You wore it well, everything that you do. Thanks for always being a great oh, sport. Thank you. And continue blessings. The family's growing and everything like that. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. And you got to see this. Red opens in theaters Friday, October 15th. It's a winner.